Hello everyone, welcome to our video presentation and the concept of form of water retention. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to first determine the importance of water in food, second describe and understand the forms of water retention, and lastly perceive the difference between the two types of water retention. Did you know that the water is the most important nutrient and a key element in every living thing? It constitutes 60% of more of the weight of most living things, a necessary component of every cell structure and the source of the medium when all cells' metabolic chemical processes occur location. Water is the universal solvent and dispersing agent as well as a very reactive chemical compound biologically active structures of macromolecules are spontaneously formed only to aqueous media it is an active partner of molecular interactions participating directly in many biochemical reactions as a substrate or a product High heat capacity allows water to act as a heat buffer in all organisms. Regulation of water contents is important in the maintenance of homeostasis in all living systems. Hydrogen band in water. Electrons on one molecule can be partially shared with the hydrogen on another. It's called the hydrogen bands. Water in foods. Most natural foods contain water up to 70% of their weight. As you can see here, the chart have a some selected foods and each foods have a water content. Water in foods is classified in two types. First is the free water and second is the bound water. So let's define the two types of water retention. Free water, water that can be extracted easily from foods by squeezing or pressing or cutting or pressing. Free water exhibits vapor pressure, unlike bound water, and this type of water has a comparatively low density. Free water typically acts as liquid water. Bound water Water that cannot be easily obtained from food products via simple methods. Typically, we cannot get this type of water from these sources without changing the structure or composition of the source. A common example of this type of water is water present in cacti or pine tree needles. We cannot get this water by squeezing them or pressing them out. This is the reason why these plants survive in extreme weather such as desert temperatures and the vegetation remains alive even upon dehydration since there is bound water. Not easily removed from the food is called the bound water. This water is not free to act as a solvent for salts and sugars. It can be frozen only at very low temperatures. Density is greater than water. The water molecules are bound to polar groups or ions on molecules such as starches, pectin, and proteins. So what is the difference between free water and bound water? The key difference between free water and bound water is that free water is the water that can easily be extracted from foods by squeezing or cutting or pressing, whereas bound water is the water that cannot easily be extracted from those methods. Lemon juice and water in lemons are examples of free water, whereas water in cacti plants is an example of bound water. Molecular adsorption Molecular adsorption occurs when the water molecules adhere to specific points in the molecular structure of the material. The force of attraction at low moisture contents is so high that an adsorption compression results in a net decrease in the volume of the solid water aggregate. As the moisture content increases, the molecular attraction becomes smaller and there is a volume increase which is roughly equal to the volume of water added. 
the bound water is of three types, constitutional, vicinal, and multi-layer. First is the constitutional. Let's define it. They form an integral part of a non-aqueous constituent forming less than 0.03%. It is constituted by a monolayer of water molecules absorbed on the polar absorption side of the molecule is almost immobilized and thus behaves like part of the solid or like water in ice. Second is the vicinal. It is the bound water that strongly acts with specific hydropelic sites of non-aqueous constituents to form a monolayer coverage. Water ion and water dipole bands forming 0.1 to 0.9%. And lastly, the multilayer. Bound water forms several additional layers around hydropelic groups, water to water, and water to solute hydrogen bands, it forms 1 to 5%. So, let's review our topic. Water can be found abundantly in all living things and in most of the food products we consume. Two types of water can be found in its sources, free water and bound water. The key difference between free water and bound water is that free water is water that can easily be extracted from foods through squeezing, cutting, or pressing, whereas bound water is water that cannot easily be extracted from those methods. So let's end our discussion here. So thank you for listening.